The diagnosis of neurocognitive disorder due to Alzheimer's disease is assigned when the criteria for major or mild neurocognitive disorder are met and symptoms had an insidious onset and have caused a slow, gradual progression of impairment in at least one cognitive domain for mild neurocognitive disorder or at least two cognitive domains for major neurocognitive disorder. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of neurocognitive disorder and accounts for about 60 to 80 percent of all cases. For the exam, you want to be familiar with the characteristics of the three stages of Alzheimer's disease. The early stage lasts for about two to four years and its symptoms include anterograde amnesia, irritability or passivity, disorientation to day and time, and anomia, which is the inability to recall the names of familiar objects. The middle stage is the longest stage and lasts for two to 10 years. It's characterized by increasing anterograde and retrograde amnesia, anxiety or depression, delusions, restlessness and pacing, compulsive and repetitive behaviors, rambling speech, disruption in sleep patterns, and problems with normal day-to-day -day activities. And the late stage usually lasts for one to three years and is characterized by severely deteriorated intellectual functioning, severe disorientation, apathy, severely impaired speech, agitation and wandering, incontinence, loss of basic motor skills, and inability to perform basic activities of daily life. Neurocognitive disorder due to Alzheimer's disease has been linked to heredity and abnormal levels of several neurotransmitters, with acetylcholine being most affected and a deficiency of acetylcholine being associated with memory impairment. It's also been linked to the development of neuritic plaques and neurofibrillary tangles in the medial temporal structures of the brain, which include the entorhinal cortex, hippocampus, and amygdala. Treatment includes behavioral interventions and pharmacotherapy to reduce problematic behaviors, for example, antidepressants to reduce depression and antipsychotics to reduce agitation. In addition, cholinesterase inhibitors are used to enhance memory and other cognitive functions. These drugs reduce the breakdown of acetylcholine in the brain and are useful for reversing or slowing cognitive impairment in patients who are in the early phases of the disorder but they're not cures and their benefits are only temporary. Interventions that are provided to family members and other caregivers include education, skills training and support, and are not only associated with improved caregiver health, but also with an increase in the length of time that patients remain at home.